The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Coming up on the season premiere of UMass Sports Insider, we are ready for a new season of Minutemen football to get underway. Coach Whipple's team is experienced and talented and hoping to make some noise in their final season in the MAC. We'll talk with the coach and get you ready for the home opener. And we'll take you back to training camp and go behind the scenes to see how the team had some fun in preparing for the season to start. Plus, we take a look at the new home for the UMass field hockey team, a sparkling new facility that just opened to house the perennial A-10 powerhouse team. A new year with renewed hopes and some brand new UMass Sports Insider. It all starts now. Well, hello and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host, Josh Maurer, and for us, it's a new season. We're so happy to be on our new television home, Nesson. Join us from now until March as we highlight for you the best that UMass Athletics has to offer. Coming up later in the program, we'll have visits from Blake Fronapple, Mark Whipple, and Tajay Sharp as we preview Saturday's home opener against 2NO Temple. But to start, we thought we'd take you behind the scenes with the quarterback who's been generating so many headlines for the Minutemen. As you're about to see, Mr. Fronapple, he's quite the busy guy. UMass is an amazing place overall. You know, I love it here. We start working really early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Got a long day ahead of school. Pretty excited. Well, we like talented guys. <laughs> and we like smart guys. And both in the classroom, we like character people, We're good people. And, um, you know, that, that uh, understand the value of a UMass education. I couldn't have asked to go into a better university. The things I've learned here, the people I've met have set me up for life with great experiences and memories. So I came in here undeclared and, uh, you know, as I took up a bunch of my basic classes and stuff, I kind of found the direction I wanted to go with and that was uh, sociology. You know, I'm really interested in uh, social issues and stuff like that, so uh, I really enjoy my major a lot. Education is key. Our mother always told me, like, education is first because football is not going to be there forever kind of thing. So, you know, it's kind of like I'm hoping for the best athletically, but at the same time, like, trying to make sure I get the best education that I could get. I'm good. How you doing? How are you? I wasn't sure exactly what field I wanted to go. And then talking to my academic advisor, he told me, he was like, you would, you would really do good in the hospitality field. Like, you know, you can use your personality and that will help you excel. Uh, my name is Blake. I'm from uh, Northern Virginia. I'm in the dual degree program. It's a, uh, it's an MBA and then also a master's in sports management. And there's actually 11 of us in the program. And um, it's definitely a pretty diverse group, but it's a really, I mean, a lot of uh, people that are great to work with. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'm going to a meeting to meet with the uh, president of the Women's Tennis Association. And um, she's one that the person we're meeting with is one of the most powerful people in sports. So it's uh, definitely been pretty interesting for me to sit in that meeting. I came here to UMass, and I also I'm, I'm a member of the football team here as well. So I'm doing this program and playing football. What's that? Oh no no no! It's someone else. It's not me. Um, <laughs> no no. He has a cameraman following him to class. I just wanted to let y'all know that. Now we're about to head to the best part of campus, probably. Campus Center. Uh, over there we're doing a bone marrow drive. I don't know if you guys want to be a part of it at all. You can help one in five people are matches and it helps uh, kids with leukemia. I'm a really friendly person, so if you ever see me on campus, just come up and say hi to me because you know I like meeting new people every day. Help save a life. Five minutes. Five minutes of your time. Catch your practice. To be a student athlete, it really is. It's pretty, it's pretty busy. It's pretty um, demanding, really. You know, it's not as easy as, you know, everyone thinks it is, you know, just being an athlete. You know, we have to manage our time with football, school, and our social life, you know, which is not that easy. The academic quality here at UMass, it's, I mean, it's strong, so and we have, you know, a course load that's more than most students. And then we're also doing that where we have, you know, football on the side. We have a, you know, a pretty dense playbook. and. And trying to balance those two things can be can be difficult at times. So I think that gets lost. People think you just show up on game days, but it's more than that. They don't really see what goes on behind the scenes and how you know waking up six o'clock in the morning, you know, every day. I'm usually here 
uh, from about 7.30, depending on the day, to about uh, 4.30. So I guess I'm here <laughs> a good amount, and I'm not here, I'm at the football building, so I, I stay pretty busy. The workout this morning wasn't bad, you know. It was uh, a little tiring, but you know, it's always a great workout. Yeah, Sam. Have a good day, class. Uh, then I'm headed for class. I'm in class pretty much all day. We gotta stay up past 12 sometimes doing homework, you know, because we don't have time from like 8 to 11 because we're on the field practicing or something. And then it's like clockwork, right back at it. You know what time meetings are today? 3.30. 3.30? You were able to get your eyes back because you're close enough to touch me, which was a great job. And then on top of that, you finish. Coaching point is what? Don't cut it back. Don't cut field. it back into the middle of the field. Yeah. Right. Well, as a coach, and, and and you know, the best part of our our day is being with the players. So that'll be the wife. Same thing. Several runs. Coach back Whipple here. About it's just yeah. it's a blessing. He teaches you everything you need to know about playing at the next level and being a better man. And I think he, having him as a coach has just made me a better person, a hundred percent from when I first got here to now. You hit the boots hard, right? <laughs> I'm personally, I'm, I'm just grateful, you know, to be blessed to have the opportunity. You know, it's a great feeling knowing that I get to play the sport I love, and at the same time, I get to get one of the best education in the world. They give you every you know, possible way to succeed here. It helps you grow as a person, and I know a lot of other players feel the same way. Well, and here we are with the man himself, Blake Furnapple. You're a busy guy around campus, huh? I sure am. Yeah, especially this time of year, it's kind of just one thing after another. Well, let's talk about what camp was like for you guys. First and foremost, Coach had some nice little treats for you. <laughs> You got some ice cream, you got to go to the beach. Tell us a little bit about some of that. Oh, that was pretty cool. I mean, especially during camp, it was kind of a grind. We are going back and forth, which is, you know, meetings and practice. And he surprised with the ice cream earlier in camp. Went to the movies, went had a little beach day. I mean, it was pretty cool to kind of mix it up and kind of you know, take your mind off football for a little bit. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Playing wiffle ball on the beach, that's a little bit different than going through the uh, the seven-on-seven -seven drills in the middle of the Oh, Denver. yeah, it's, it's much different. Plus, um, especially for that, the wiffle ball, it was the players versus the coaches. And, you know, as a quarterback, I decided to pitch, gave five home runs. You know, it was a little disappointing in myself, but one of those things, it was, it was a good time. It was a good experience for all of us. Stick to football, huh? I think so, yeah, maybe. So tell me in general, was this a, a camp that you think was something certainly improved from what you'd seen last year? Yeah, I mean, so for us, just working on um, just techniques from um, to their plays and kind of just getting more comfortable in what we're doing on offense and defense. Um, just just the second year in the system, and you can tell these guys are a lot more comfortable what they're doing and a lot more confidence as well. What do you feel like you take from week one into week two? Um, for us, I mean, there's always the first game, kind of there's mistakes and the missed assignments and kind of stuff that, that happens in the first game. There's the jitters there. And as you kind of learn from the first, the first week, you learn from the mistakes and kind of build on it and try to you know, refocus and kind of move on from it. Well, Blake, it was great to have you here. Best of luck against Temple on Saturday. I know you guys are excited to have a home game, right? We sure are, and thank you very much. Blake Fronapple with us. We'll have more of his teammates joining us later on. But it's time now to take a quick break on UMass Sports Insider. When we come back, we stay on the gridiron as the Minutemen get set for that home opener on Saturday. We sit down with the head coach. Mark Whipple is here next on UMass Sports Insider. We'll be right back. It's football season, and that means excitement, thrills, and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when the Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, October 24th when we play Toledo. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TIX to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today.
deep-thinking insurance company with a global network, focused on taking care of you and your family, providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Mafre Insurance, a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network, providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Mafre Insurance. I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Leadership isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. As the Minutemen football team gets set for its home opener, we welcome on the head coach. Mark Whipple is with us, and coach, I wonder the excitement of getting ready to play your first home game of the year. We're at Gillette on Saturday against Temple. What's the mood like getting ready for it? Well, the mood is hopefully that old adage, uh, you improve the most from the first game to the second game, and uh, we had a good trip until the second half of that game in Colorado. So we're excited to get back home and get to Foxborough. And, um, you know, have a great week and, and, and play probably the best team that we've played since I've been here. Let's talk about this Temple team. They're 2 and 0 They've had impressive wins. You beat Penn State and Cincinnati. That means you're doing something right. What have you seen from this Temple team? Well, I watched them grow last year. We saw them earlier, obviously, from uh, the Vanderbilt game where they dominated Vanderbilt, and they've gotten better and better. They're playing with a lot of confidence. I said they're the best team we've played since I've been back at UMass. How about this Temple defense? That's the unit on the coach rules team that's really generating a lot of the headlines. Yeah, the linebacker Matikiewicz is really was national player of the, of the week, the first week, and makes a lot of plays. Their defensive front's tremendous. They've got skill guys everywhere, so it, it's a huge test for our offense. Coach, let's talk a little bit about what happened in week one in Colorado. It was a good start, 14-14 to get into the second quarter there. Then things came apart a little bit. What did you take away from game one at Colorado that you worked on most this week in practice? Well, just improvement. I thought, um, you know, we let the game get away. You know, the interception at, uh, in the end zone on third down was, was critical. And then we had a bad snap on a punt, which was really a 55-yard uh, mistake since uh, Logan picked it up and kicked it 58. But uh, so, so those mistakes, I, I think they're, they're, they're all correctable. But most importantly, I just, we, we did not play very physical. Um, and that, that's my biggest concern on both sides of the line. Uh, Colorado was just much, much stronger, and uh, I thought that that could be a little bit of a strength, so we really worked hard this week on it. One thing that did not seem to miss a beat was the connection between your senior quarterback and senior wide receiver, Blake Fronapple. Tajay Sharp seemed to pick up right where they left off last year, and they had a big game at Colorado. Yeah, they, they, Tajay played pretty well. Um, he'll see himself and get better. We were short on some routes. Fro's footwork wasn't great. That, that caused a, the one interception, caused another couple missed throws that we had some things early. Uh, we really missed five touchdown throws. Ross had one at the end. And if, we, if you do that, it's going to be hard for us to, to win games against that kind of caliber like Colorado. So we've worked all week. And, uh, but Tajay was really good, and I think he'll even be better this week. You mentioned right at the beginning the improvement from week one to week two. The old adage says it's the biggest that you'll have all season long. And we saw that last year with your team, too, from Boston College to Colorado. Why do you think that is, and, and how do you make that a reality here this week? Well, I, I think guys see themselves on tape, and I see that, you know, maybe in, during camp and first week they kind of become mute to the coaches. And uh, then all of a sudden they see it in real life, and they see, hey, here's the things, here's why you got to do it. And I saw a marked improvement from Colorado, from, from the Hawaii game. And then uh, all the teams around the country, you kind of see that. So we, we need that same thing. We had it last year, and uh, – I'm, I'm a little, really disappointed the way we, we performed, um, and, and that's on me. The coaches didn't do a good job, uh, players didn't play well, and then we just got a rebound this week. 
Gillette Stadium is such a great venue. You get to call it home for three games every season. How special is it to walk through those same doors and play on the same field that the Patriots do and have that, that kind of venue as your home? Yeah, I mean, I think it's an exciting place. Um, certainly thank the Kraft family and the Patriots. They, they do a great job for us. And, uh, um, you know, we won our last game here against Eastern Michigan at home, so we're trying to make it two in a row and try to, try to build that fan base. And what do you expect from your fans and from the crowd to give you a boost here on Saturday? Well, to cheer on a good plays, we got to make a lot more than we did in Colorado. Coach, thank you so much for okay, spending Josh. time with us. Thanks so much. Mark Whipple with us. It's time for us to take a quick break here on UMass Sports Insider, but don't go far away. When we come back, we'll visit with a pair of football standouts, including a wide receiver on the verge of breaking several long-time program records. Lots more still to come. Keep it right here. Leadership isn't given. It's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. We're back on UMass Sports Insider as the Minutemen get ready for their home opener on Saturday against Temple. It's at 3 o'clock at Gillette Stadium, and we welcome on a man who had a huge week one. Boy, you seem to pick up right where you left off, Tajay. Welcome to the program. Tell me about the game at Colorado, 11 catches. Did you feel like it was just kind of a continuation of you and Blake Fernapple from what you had last year? Uh, yeah, it felt like that a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously we came up short. Uh, we wanted to come out with a victory, but, you know, we tried to pick up uh, exactly where we left off last season and uh, just kind of continue to, you know, continue to roll this offense and, you know, try to get things going early. I know you worked really hard this offseason. What were the things that you tried to do most to improve your game? Because, well, last year things went very well anyway. So right. what did you work on? Uh, mainly just trying to continue to grow on our time with uh, myself and Blake, you know, just continue to, you know, work hard each and every day and uh, try to be on the same page. Uh, just let him have the confidence in me to know I'm going to be where I'm supposed to be at in my routes and things like that. And uh, also to continue working on things like my route running and things like that. So, you know, we uh, try to progress each and every day. And I feel like we, we did a good job of that. But obviously, uh, you know, we have a long way to go still. So Temple is coming up. It's a Saturday kickoff. You get to be at Gillette Stadium where you've played a lot of games and you've had a lot of great games. Right. Tell me about the feeling to go back to that field to play your home opener. Oh, it's going to be exciting, you know, to, to play at a, a great stadium like Gillette uh, where the Patriots play. It's, it's always an exciting feeling. Uh, just knowing we're going to have a, a home crowd on our backs, it, it's going to be very exciting. So we're going to come out and, you know, try to get the fans a, an exciting W. All right, so Temple has this defense that everybody's been talking about. They're, they're undefeated, and that defensive unit is stealing a lot of the headlines for Coach Rule's team. Tell me about the defense as you know it. Oh, yeah, uh, Temple, they have a, they have a great uh, defensive line uh, to, to, to lead their defense. And uh, as you said, they're 2-0, and so they're, they're going to come out with a lot of intensity. And, uh, you know, we just have to try to match it. And it all starts this week in practice. You know, uh, we got to work hard and, and prepare for them as, as best as we can and, you know, just try to make plays when, when the opportunity is given. When you run out onto the field, it'll be your last time for a home opener. You're a senior now. What do you think the emotions are going to be like on Saturday when you run out through the tunnel? Uh, very emotional. Uh, you know, I was very emotional. Saturday is my, my last first game. So, you know, uh, this is going to be my last first home game, you know, at Gillette. So uh, the, the emotions are going to be flaring uh, with myself and the rest of my teammates. So, like I said, we just want to put on a great performance for the fans and you know, uh, try to come out with a victory. Best of luck on Saturday. Thanks so much, Tajay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And now we talk defense and we welcome on linebacker Shane Huber. It's great to see you. It was great to see you back on the field Saturday in Boulder after the, the year off because of the injury. What was that like, Shane, to, to finally be back out there and contributing? Yeah, you know, it was definitely a very exciting experience. Um, it had been a while since, you know, I had participated in, you know, a game with my teammates. So um, it was fun to be out there. Obviously, things didn't go our way. Um, but, you know, just, you know, being out there competing and, uh, you know, especially at that high of a level was definitely a great time, great experience. What lessons did your defense take from Saturday's loss that you're going to try to improve? And you have to do it quickly with a good Temple offense that you're going to be facing tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we, uh, we definitely know now that teams are going to try and run the ball against us. So that's something we need to, you know, take upon ourselves and really focus on in, you know, the upcoming weeks in preparation. So, you know, that's definitely uh, going to be the main focus now. Tell me about the excitement of coming home, playing a home game, especially at a venue like Gillette Stadium. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing like it. Playing at uh, Gillette Stadium is, 
a great venue, like you said, and you know, as our season home opener, it's it's going to be a great experience. Hopefully, uh, we get a you know huge fan base and everything from uh, them and from us. So, you know, it should be a, a great experience, great game. Tell me a little bit about the Temple offense that you're going to be facing that you guys are preparing for all week. Yeah, I mean, they have a very dynamic quarterback in PJ Walker. Um, he's a great player. You know, great running back. Um, so, you know, they're definitely uh, very talented in that department, good old line. So, you know, we're going to really have to uh, buckle down and be very prepared. As a linebacking core, what do you think you guys need to do most to be more successful, obviously, than what we saw the first week? A lot of it had to do with being a little bit rusty, maybe. And I think uh, as a linebacking core, we're just going to have to play a little bit faster, play a little bit smarter, and just kind of stop the thinking and just get out there and fly around. Well, best of luck. It's great to see you, Shane, and we'll see you on Saturday on the field. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, it's time for us to take one final break here on UMass Sports Insider. On the other side, we'll take you to a brand new home venue for one of the top teams on campus, and we'll see how the Minute Women field hockey team opened their new digs in style. We'll be right back. It's football season, and that means excitement, thrills, and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when your Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, October 24th, when we play Toledo. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today. Welcome back as we wrap up our first edition of UMass Sports Insider this year. Well, the UMass field hockey team has been a perennial Atlantic 10 powerhouse under head coach Carla Tagliante. And this year, the squad moved across the campus from their old home at Garber Field to a brand new surface at Gladchuck Field, not too far here from McGurk Stadium. Let's check out and see how that facility opened up in style last weekend. We're out here opening weekend for the brand new facility here at Gladchuck Field. It's been in discussions for quite a while. Back in 2012, we talked about it, but something like this takes some time to put together. The new administration did a great job of getting this idea into motion. It's really nice to not have to share with other teams. We can completely choose when we want to have practice, not have to schedule around other sports. We know that the field's always going to be in good shape. It shows the athletic departments and the schools really like looks out for us and cares about our program. I think it just shows commitment. It shows commitment on part of the athletic department in terms of investing in our program and I don't think you see that level of commitment across the board of the entire NCAA, let alone the New England region. And it is really important for each program to have that um, and like that's happening with all sports here at UMass and um, it's really good that you know it's been prioritized and we put our own field. We are well supported, we're one of the most well supported programs I think in New England and when you can look a recruit in the eye and tell them that and show them that, um, it's a huge benefit. And we're going to challenge everyone who comes here to play us. It's football season, and that means excitement, thrills, and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when the Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, October 24th, when we play Toledo. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffre insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffre insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil, it'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Thank you. 
That'll do it for our first edition of UMass Sports Insider. We're back next week with another new show as we preview the trip for the football team out to Notre Dame. I'm Josh Maurer. Have a great weekend, and thanks so much for watching.